Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Asian Programmer. So today we're gonna learn about the arrays in C++. First of all, let me tell you what is an array. Well, an array is a sequential memory, which uh, consecutive sequential memory in which you can store multiple values in a particular single array. And in variables, you can only store a particular one a value like in integer array you can only store like one value like 10 in float a in float b you can only store like one value in points but array is is a consecutive memory in which you can specify a name of an array with as much as memory as you want in a consecutive and sequential manner okay so for example if this is an array so in on the first index you can uh, save like number 10 on the second you can say 20 on the third you can say 30 on the fourth you can say 40 50 60 and 70 this means that you have made a s array of size 7 and on every index of the array you save like one value that's what it, what is array is all about now let's see how we can make an array okay there is a like limitation to arrays if you are making an integer array then you have all the values will be an integer if you are making the float array then all the values in the array will be float value floating values you cannot make integer array and put, put floating values in it if you put float value in it it will just convert into an integer now let's see what is the syntax of an array first you have to specify any type okay like for example integer then you have to specify the name let's say we will call it array we will call it array okay we will call it array okay array like this third you have to write the braces and specify the size of an array or like this for example if I am saying like I will make an array of 10 size then semicolon this is the syntax of making an array okay this is if you want to make in initialize the array while you making it then you can do like this you can do this and put the equal sign and curly braces and you can write as many as value as you want like this okay so now the array has like three six eight values and the size of array will be eight because we didn't specify the size here but we give but we initialize the all the values here so it will conclude concluded as eight okay so if if you want to like make an array with just all the value of the array will be zero like we are making an array of 10 size and assigning all the values to zero then that's how you can do this okay just assign like false okay it's giving an error let me see okay that's it i have to put that in curly braces sorry that's what the fault is look no that's how you can assign all the values of the array to zero or like false false means zero or you can assign like one as well if you want to like this all the tenth indexes of the array will be assigned to zero now let's see how can we insert value after making an array the first thing you can do is make a loop integer i is equal to zero i less than total size you have mentioned over in the array like 10 and i plus plus now what you have to do you just need to like mention the name of an array index of i because it has to be iterated all of all the index in the array then whatever value you want to give for example that we will give the value of i in it of, or i plus one so in the first index the value of array in the first index will be like one one to ten it will just go one to ten okay that's i'm initializing the value of array with the value of i so if we were just printed the the value of array you're gonna find out what are the real the value we have assigned into it 
let me print it for you okay let's run so the value in the arrays are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 which we have assigned over here the next thing is how can you uh, enter values from the user we can do that as well for example let's say we're gonna make an integer C in which we're gonna like seen from the user or take input from the user and just put array i equals to C that's it is that simple now let's say see out enter 10 values in array Now if we run this, it, go, it will gonna ask us enter 10 values in the array. We, we, we can write any values which we want. Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Now look, it will just print all the values. Because we have just entered the values from the user. The next thing you want to know, you wanted to know that you have to be careful with the index of an array for example like this we if we just assign the value of array to i like this but while we are printing the value of array if we go like out of the index then it will go it will go give us an error okay like this if we just specify that the loop gonna go ahead one ahead of the total indexes in the array then look at the errors it just said that undeclif oh no not this error I have to mention the word array now look at it now you have seen the last value is 0 this one we haven't initialized with 0 but it just print the value of which have we which we have we haven't you know initialized it was a garbage value which is with that prints over here Sometimes in compilers it gives like array out of bound index error, but here is because this sum is ID is more powerful, so uh, because of that it's not giving an out of index error. Instead, they are giving just the value zero. Look at this in the end because it says that you the uh, index of an array is out of bound. That's what it's mean over here. So I hope you guys like this. This is how you can make an array let's make a floating array now you just need to like change the value to like float or double or you can even make character array character only can store one character in a, in, in, a, in it a character variable on, can only store one variable in it but a character array of 10 size can store like 10 characters from the alphabets or from the number as well that's how you make arrays you can perform different functions on the array like let's suppose we want to print the sum of all the values in an array okay we have initialized the value with the i and we are gonna just gonna print the value of total sum so we need an integer now which we will is say like sum equals zero sum will be equal to plus equal to array of i so now what we'll do this instruction every time when the loop in this loop we're gonna run the value of sum will be updated and plus with the new value of array and in the end if we print the value of sum you will see that it will give us the total sum of the values of the array let's look at this now see we just got 45 which was which is the sum of an total array let me see what is the values of the array as well so you can so you can see what are the values in the array first then you can compare it with the total answer now let me run for you so the first the values of the array is like 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and the sum is 45 total sum is 45 we just some 9 a 9 to 0 and we get this sum that's how you can operate 
operations on the array on you can also change the values of an array as well like you can swap it or you can you can do anything with it we just that's how this video is all about to tell you guys how to make arrays how to perform functions on it and how you can handle the arrays i hope you guys like it in the next lecture i will tell you how to pass arrays in the functions and how can we can operate some more operation onto it i hope you guys like it do give it give it a like and subscribe my channel thank you very much bye bye